What'd you do the day, Dimpna? Well, it's Monday. So I had a wee lay in till about half eleven. <laughs> had brunch, got my nails done, went to the hairdressers, did a bit of shopping, met the girls for a few drinks. Oh, and then I checked my online bank and then sure enough, my wages is in. So I think I might go out tonight. You must love being an MLA. <laughs> <laughs> you not Sinn an MLA, nearly three years of no work and you're still getting paid. Excuse me, I had to go to a meeting yesterday. Oh, God help you. There was a nasty rumour that they were going to try and bring Stormont back. <laughs> Stormont? Back? I was panicking. Why? Did you forget how to get there? Forget how to get there? I've never been to Stormont. <laughs> Is it in West Belfast? Not yet. Flagpole showing. Oh my God, son, that's some I said you have on you there. Where are you? At a job interview. Dressed like that? They take me as they find me. What was the job? Car worker. Car worker? Yeah. <coughs> Told him I didn't care if I got the job or not. So you didn't get it then? No, I did not. And do you know why? Because you look like somebody that should be in car. <laughs> no, it was discrimination. It is because I am a Catholic. They took one look at these tricolored caps and showed me the door. Of course, if they were Union Jack underpants, they'd make me head of the whole health service. No, there's just... No jobs out there for Catholics. No peace. There's loads of jobs. There's one you could do. The DUP are looking for an Irish language officer. What sort of job's that? Zero hours. <laughs> you could always be a pole dancer. For the visually impaired. <laughs> oh, no. The Game of Thrones exhibition are looking for extras. You could be a soldier in the Army of the North. Oh, no. The last time he was a soldier in the Army of the North, he got five years in the maze. <laughs> Aye, well, you'd be perfect for Game of Thrones. It's full of dragons, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, that's not nice, Dan. Oh, I am so sorry. But seriously, you would be perfect for Game of Thrones. <gasps> Do you think so? Yes, they're always on the lookout for dwarves. Have you making fun about my height? Oh dear. Have you had it up to here? Or maybe you've had it up to here. Because I'll tell you what, you haven't had it up to here. Oh! Shin Fein is against violence. No. But you deserve that. You see that, son? My own family hate me. I've got no work. Don't worry, Da. I've got a job for you. You can be presenter of my new documentary film. Film? Yep. It's 50 years since the start of the Troubles, so I'm making a documentary to uh, celebrate it. Oh, my God. Not another documentary about the Troubles. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. Yeah, but mine's different. Mine's called Da's Secret History of the Troubles. Da's Secret History of the Troubles? I like it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about this before? Because it's a secret. <laughs> this is brilliant. Finally, this is my chance to tell the true story of the Troubles from a Republican perspective and set the record straight. Here, is there any money on it? Yep. Because I've applied for one of them cross-community grants. Oh, no. Do I have to have Protestants in the film? Well, they were a bit involved too. <laughs> we won't get a cross-community grant. They always go to people you know. Yeah, well, we know them. Nah. And she's the chairperson. That's right. That's what my meeting was about yesterday. They made me chair of the Cross Community Arts Forum Grant Scheme. Brilliant. We're quitting. Excuse me. I can't go handing out public money to my relatives. What do you think this is? The RHA? 
<laughs> you could be in the film. Really? I could be a film star. And me? I could be co-presenter. <gasps> Aye, and we'll call it the long and the short of the troubles. Well, I think Da's documentary sounds like an excellent idea, and I think we should approve the £10,000 grant. Thanks, love. See you back in Devis. Sorry, do you two know each other? That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go around giving public money to one of your relatives. Uh, don't leave me out. I'm a brawler. How you doing? I'm Parker Begby. And you're on the Cross Community Arts Forum. Yes, I've been appointed Loyalist Liaison Officer <laughs> to make sure that the grant is fairly and equitably distributed and that the UDA get their cut. <laughs> the UDA? What do the UDA know about the arts? Well, most of us have been on a TV. What? ITV? UTV? No, CCTV. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is the way Northern Ireland works. You need a sinner, a loyalist, and a confused Brit. I think that's me, isn't it? And a token ethnic person. <laughs> we were just talking about how we're giving Da and Cal ten grand to make a documentary about the Troubles. Excellent. I look forward to not watching it. And you're happy with this? Yeah, cos one of our lot's up next. Ready for you now, Uncle Andy. Oh, come on, don't tell me he's your uncle. No, he's her uncle. <laughs> well, uncle-in-law. Well, I would like a grant because I am a local artist. Really? And where would I have seen your work? Uh, um, gable walls, mostly. Uh, wherever you are in East Belfast, you're nearly always looking up at a Andy original. <laughs> Do I think we should give him a grant? Oh, hold on a wee minute. I think we need to find out a wee bit more here. Like, uh, what sort of painting style do you use? Well, I've been inspired by the Impressionists, uh, the Cubists, yum, 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 the, the Triangulists, and uh, <laughs> Michael Stone. Oh, yeah, 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 paintings are like Michael Stone's only good. <laughs> yes. I have always found Michael Stone's paintings to be quintessentially loyalist. Sorry, what do you mean? <laughs> the belong on a bone fire. <laughs> so you would like a grant to paint some murals? No, 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 no. You see, I'm diversifying into three-dimensional art. Yes, I want to sculpt a statue to be put outside the loyalist kneebreakers. A statue? A statue of who? A local loyalist hero. Edward Carson, Ian Paisley. No, 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 no. A living loyalist icon. Someone who inspires all of us. Jamie Bryson? <laughs> oh. Poster, big. Me? What a brilliant cross community idea. <laughs> what is cross community about that? Which I'd be very cross if you turn it down. <laughs> Great that the grant came through, Andre, isn't it? Rick, will you just give me the check and I'll nip down and get it cashed oh, now? No, don't be worrying about that. I already have it cashed. But it had my name on it. I know, but me and the post office go back a long way. <laughs> I suppose they're used to giving you money you're not entitled to. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think we're just delighted that it wasn't armed. <laughs> Ten grand in cash. Where, 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 where were you getting the ten grand from? That's what the grant was for. Oh, but you're, you're forgetting about my facilitation fee, my Othman fee, my entomological copyright of my face. So, <laughs> in fairness, really, it's, it's, it's nine, nine, nine grand to me and, and a grand for you to make the statue. <laughs> we're not actually going to do the statue. Oh, yeah, of course we are. But, but I thought it was like a normal loyalist grant to communities where the money just kind of disappears. No, 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 no. This is legit. I want my statue. That's why I brought you here. That's what I want. What? Yeah. You got to. <laughs> Only bigger. But, Pastor Bigby, I, I don't know nothing about statues. So you lied to your committee and obtained public money fraudulently? Yes. And I thought it was for a lot more than I'm getting. 
You told him that you could paint murals? Must have been, you know me. I can't even paint a curbstone red, white and blue. I want my statue. And it better not be crap like that one of Georgie Best. And I don't want to look like somebody out of the planet of the apes here. <laughs> you really thought it was just his scum? I don't know nothing about sculpting. You better start learning very quickly because I told people my statue's going to be ready in a fortnight. A fortnight? Yes, a big unveiling ceremony and all that the knee breakers, which reminds me I need 50 quid for statue jewels. <laughs> I've been standing here for ten friggin' minutes. <laughs> Create the work of art takes time. Welcome to Da's Secret History of the Troubles. Yes, forget all the rest of them documentaries. This is the one with the facts. It's been 50 years since the start of the Troubles. Actually, it's 51. This is going out in 2020. Yes, all right, Carl. Mind you, some people say the trouble started in 1968, so that would make it 52. Shut up! <clears throat> anyway, Dimpna, what do you remember about the troubles? Nothing. I was far too young. What are you talking about? You were doing the 11 plus during the hunger strike. <laughs> I have no recollection of that. Sick. It's like interviewing Prince Andrew. Ah, it's been 50-ish years since the start of the Troubles. Never mind that. It's been 50 years of documentaries about the 50 years of the Troubles. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. Only it wasn't yesterday, you see, because it was 50 years ago. Anyway, I was walking up past a Divis Tower and this truck pulled out and all these was Hail out! Soldiers? No. Cameramen. <laughs> reporters, television folk. And the next thing, they bring out their cameras. They started shooting indiscriminately at the people. There wasn't a person on the falls who was not at some time put up against a wall and forced to give an interview. <laughs> you couldn't go anywhere in Belfast without being targeted by one of these organisations. BBC, UTV, RT, <laughs> ATN, NBC. All wanting to know if you were a Catholic or a Protestant. Them English ones are the worst. I am sick looking at your man, Peter Taylor's beak. I mean... Have the mom no home to go to? They caught me one day. I was doing nothing. Made my own business when they grabbed me. Shoved a mic in my face and demanded to know what I thought about the Anglo-Irish agreement. It's been a week now. Do you need a pee? I want to see my statue. It's not ready. You're not allowed to see it until it's finished. It's taken a while. Pastor Baby, sculpture is not just about form. I've got to capture your very essence. Hope you're not doing me nudie. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I'm trying to explore the origins of the troubles. Who? <gasps> Caused the troubles? Was it the Unionists with their intransigence and the inability of the Orange State to accede to the legitimate demands of the Nationalist people? What do you think? Uh, I think it was dickheads like you. <laughs> Is it ready yet? Nearly. I'm not sure I've captured the fire in your eyes. You're gonna capture my boot up your hole in your fire! Buster baby, just give me 24 hours to make a few tweaks. What the frig is this? Buster baby, don't rush the judgment! It's abstract! It's bollocks! Where's the arms and legs? Oh, did you want those? What if 
about the face? Well, I didn't do the face because I know you hate being identified. <laughs> nothing, nothing like nothing. I don't know an awful lot about art, but I know what it looked like. <laughs> you better do it again, and you better do it right. You've got 48 hours. 48 hours? But it took Rodan 22 years to do the thinker. Rodan wasn't going to have his nuts crushed by the UDA if it wasn't done right. <laughs> This is all your fault. Every crazy loyalist wants a stutch in their gears. With a good mind to steal you and stick baby's head on you. <laughs> that would serve you right. <laughs> not a bad idea. Steal Edward Carson. There's no MLA in there. So no one would ever notice. Look at that. I could stick you right under my arm. <laughs> Maybe not. Oi, Andy, would you mind getting out of the way? Mervyn, I was wondering if you could help me. I need your help to steal Carson's statue. Look, we're going to need an angle grinder and a very large fan. Sorry, Andy. I've turned over a new leaf. I'm dedicating my life to art. Really? Yes. All my life I have felt creatively stifled. <laughs> What? Even when you were playing a dummy flute in the knee breakers band? I've been taking night classes, individual arts. The tutor says my work is really coming on. Duh, they say that the all them just to keep the numbers up. I bet you that's rubbish. Here, that's a picture of Edward Carson. Yes. That actually looks like Edward Carson. It's brilliant. You've got the hands right and everything. Are you sure you're not a Catholic? Ah, it's all right, I suppose. I much prefer my three-dimensional work, you know, pottery, sculpture. Sculpture? Oh, yes. I love all sculpture, from the Renaissance masterworks of Michelangelo to the Baroque Bernini, right through to the balls on the folds. <laughs> Never mind that. I need you to knock me up. A poster beat me. I am an artist. I create. I don't just knock something up. Anyway... I need a muse to inspire me. There's a hundred quid in it for you. I'll get the chisel. Republicans like me have a long history of struggle against the British occupation. But the thing about being in the Republican movement was there was a wonderful sense of camaraderie. We were comrades and friendships were formed that lasted for Decades. In fact, here's an old colleague now. Francie, can we have a word? What do you want, you lanky big bollocks? <laughs> <laughs> Republican banter there. <laughs> Francie, you and I were Republicans together. Well, I wouldn't say together. Tell us, uh, what was it like being an IRA volunteer? Excuse me? You were in the IRA. Who says I was? Well, everybody. Well, everybody better shut their mouth. Hey boy, are you filming this? Uh, it's OK, admit it. You were in the raha. Come on, it was a long time ago. Everybody's doing it now. I always knew you were a fucking tight. Help! Help! Grazie. Mille grazie. So what are you doing to face? Face? 
<laughs> the face. Oh, no, no, no. I don't do faces. They're way too hard. Even God can't do faces. I mean, look at the mess he made of Michael Gove. No oh, eyes, ears, nose. No, 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 no. Our art class isn't doing faces till next month. But how's Big B going to know it's Big B? <laughs> it says so on the planet. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It says Big B. I was never any good at spelling. Just call down the inspector work. All right, Pastor Bibke. I mean, Pastor Bibke. Well, 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 you really got the grips with it now, Andre. You have me just ahead to do it in. Well, that's easy, but. I must admit, Andre, I had my doubts. But you really are a fantastic artist. He's a fantastic artist? Worth every penny of that ground I gave him. Ground? Anyway, see you tomorrow to your film, then. A grand? Oh, listen, Mervyn, I was going to split the money with you, honest. Like all great artists, I have been exploited by Philistines, betrayed by mediocrities. I have a good mind to cut your fucking ear off like Van Gogh. No, Van Gogh cut his own ear off. I know that. I'm angry, I'm not bucking stupid. Oh, come on, Mervyn. If we just work together, we can finish the head. You, sir, do not deserve my talent. Oh, please, Mervyn. I'll give you all the money. Just help us finish the face. All right, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the face, she will need ears, eyes, nose, and a mouth. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Typical bloody artists. He's right. I mean, all this is just eyes, ears, nose, and a mouth. How difficult can this be? <laughs> well, tell me honestly, what do you think? Is it Jordy Best? Alan Foster? Well, who's it meant to be? <laughs> Big B! I'm going to unveil it in front of him in an hour. Do you think he like it? Oh, he looks like he's looking at a mirror. A fun fair mirror. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is for Big B to fall out of his skyscraper, land on his face, and no one will know the difference. <laughs> As bad as that. <laughs> Once Bagby sees what you've done to his face, I don't want to see what he's going to do to your face. <laughs> Too late. I can fix this. I can fix this. As the struggle progressed into the 80s, the tide started to turn. There was a new wave of Republican leaders and the hardline old guard was washed away. <laughs> so by the 1990s, Sinn Féin were dipping their toes in the peace process. Republicans realized that they had no choice but to proceed further into their negotiations with the British. Shut up! You sure about this? I'm freezing my balls off! <laughs> it's a brilliant visual metaphor, Dob! I love it! There's a bath in this! <laughs> Republicans, we're up to their necks in the peace process. <laughs> there was no going back. They were in turn deep. Where is he? I think he's over. <laughs> Daryl? I'm getting a bit worried, Ma. Do you think we should call the Coast Guard? Yeah. Why not? 
Night rescue? <laughs> On behalf of me, I would like to welcome you all to this unveiling of the statue of me. The statue is of me, but it's not about me. It's about the Royals people and how grateful they are to me for what I done. <laughs> the statue of me was built thanks to a cross community grant. So <clears throat> everyone is most welcome because today's event is completely <clears throat> We don't mind having Finians here. <laughs> Although I would suggest that you would not go for a pint in the knee breakers afterwards. <laughs> Each of us has a different path to the Lord. The Lord came to me when I was in the jail and I said, Lord, I am a sinner. And the Lord said to me, well, beg me, my son, tell me your sins. And I told him, and the Lord saith to me, Holy shit, baby, that's a lot of sin. I said, to be honest with you, Lord, that's only the ones that the peelers caught me for. <laughs> so I would like you all now to bow your head. Bow your fucking head. <laughs> Please humbly pray for Uncle Andy, for the statue, what he made of me. We pray that it better be fucking good and that the Lord has blessed his hands so that I don't need to have a word with his fucking knees. <laughs> and now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the unveilment of, of my statue. Not a box, Andy. You know what? of hiding in the women's toilets. I was not hiding. I always hang around the women's toilets. Unveil. Do you think I should have called the SWAT team? <laughs> Look, before I do, can I just say it's not as bad as Jordy Best? And give it a day or two before you rush to judgment. Oh, hang on, I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Begby by Uncle Andy. Pastor Bigby, please, please, I can explain. Look, everybody, it's perfect. You've got me, dear T. 